Here we go again. How many times this week is somebody gonna knock over that bin of dog poop? What's wrong, darling? What's wrong? Another late night visitor sneaking out of the house. Muffin, we have got to do something about the situation. I don't want to develop a reputation in the neighborhood. Now, Ellen, we can't put this off anymore. You know the time has come for this talk. I know, Bob, I know, but can't we do it tomorrow? Lucy's about to come on. Aww. <laughs> By tomorrow, who knows? These incessant visitors might have fertilized the entire lawn. <laughs> Ellen, we need to nip this in the bud. Come on, turn off the television, meet me in the kitchen, and I'll go upstairs. Good evening, Regina. What are you still doing up? You need to get a good night's rest so you can get up early for school tomorrow. I know. I was just trying to get a head start on my paper that's due next week. It's on the theory of global warming. Pumpkin, the science of global warming won't change by tomorrow. <laughs> now, it's time for you to go to bed. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Pumpkin. Could you come down to the kitchen? We'd like to have a word with you. When you're decent. Daddy, would you like something to eat? What about an ice cream cone? Bob didn't eat them all. <laughs> Daddy. Think of your diabetes. Why would I think of it? It isn't thinking of me. <laughs> you weren't gonna let me have what I want. Why did you ask? Okay, Daddy, sure. Just don't blame me when they take your feet. George, you know me and Ellen. We're really happy as clams to have you here with us. But it's my house. I let you move in after you lost your job and Ellen went to hey, the rehab. That's great. That's great. That's really swell of you. But, you know, the number of lady callers that you have here every week, well, it's just, uh, it makes us a little nervous for you. We, we just think that, that you're not being careful. And, you know, look at, look at your lip. And what Bob was trying to say is, Daddy, is this a dangerous world out there? Things are different nowadays. How do I explain this? Um, let's take this ice cream cone, for example. When it's in its wrapper, it's protected from the elements, everything. If it melts inside the wrapper, ice cream can't ooze onto your clothes and your bed and wherever. It's also protected from disease. It's wrapped, you can drop it in a vat of raw chicken. Did you drop my cone in a vat of raw chicken? It's a metaphor. Now, now let's, uh, let's say you throw caution to the wind and you decide to take off this wrapper. You're gonna enjoy this cone no matter what. And let's say you decide to share this delicious, delicious treat with a very special lady friend. You're having a good time. You've got a grip on it. She's got a grip on it. And, it. and the friction. And now it's susceptible to any disease floating in the air. And the ice cream gets heated up and starts to melt and BAM! <laughs> See, Dad? Just keep.
keep your ice cream cone wrapped. And Bob and I will know that you're safe. And, and Anne will know that you won't be having any more children at your age. Phyllis is 68 years old. <laughs> All Bob is trying to say is that we love you very much and we want what's best for you, okay? Are you mad at us for trying to protect you? Of course not. I love you guys too. Oh.